Hello and welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Today, I finally have my False Gods box. I know I am super late to the party, but I'm here now and we're gonna open this up now. Now, False Gods is... It's an interesting set. Uh, I have mixed feelings about it. I think it does some things uh, very well. Yeah. And then there are other things that just kind of really hold this set back for me. But we'll get into that as we're opening it first. Yeah, so this is guaranteed. Uh, so the box topper this time around is a... Gundam Altard Beam Rifle, or Thorn Prison. I know I got a lot of crap for my Gundam video that I did a while back, but I actually think they handled it uh, very well for this set. Uh, I like uh, the pure alt arts uh, rather than the unique cards, uh, so I like that they did this. Uh, and if they kept it that way uh, for the future, then I will be very happy with that. Okay. So, False Gods. Uh, this is the introduction of green uh, into the game. And uh, I'm very excited for green. I think it's going to be a really cool color. And uh, Giant Wood Castle Keep is going to be a very key card for the strategy, I think. Speaking of, here is the cover card, Eternal Phoenix Tokiwa. Oh, it's so cool looking. I love it. Oh, look at that. It looks so good. The extra still look really good. And uh, you'll notice that we also got a token. So I didn't know this until yesterday. The tokens uh, double as the core cards. For some reason, I had the impression that they were separate, but no, they're the same. So, yeah, that makes sense. So, okay. Good. So, the big reason why I have mixed feelings about this set uh, is the fact that there are so many... Well... Basically, there's a lot of bulk in the set. Here's one of the Void Lords. The Void Lords are interesting. I think they're really cool thematically, but uh, I don't think most of them are going to see a ton of play. This one might see some tech play, just because I still think red is going to be the main color to beat uh, going into set two meta, but we'll see. But anyway, as I was saying, there's just a lot of uh, bulk in the set. Specifically, there's a lot of uh, vanilla spirits. Uh, uh, like, there's more vanillas in set two than there are in set one, which is absolutely insane to me. Like, there's three in a row. Four are right there. Yeah. And they just take up so much space. That it just makes opening the set feel really bad. And here's another Void Lord. Uh, Lion Machine God Superbia. It's meh. This card is very meh. I should really do a better job of separating these cards. Yeah. I probably missed a foil, but oh well. It's fine. But yeah, you know, this set has, I think, uh, 31 vanillas uh, that just take up so much space. And uh, there's only like a few. Oh, <laughs> well, I say that. Uh, there's a few that are good, and this is one of them, and it's nice to get a foil version of it. Map Butterflies. This is a vanilla zero cost for green. And it's going to be really good for green. You know, what was even the rare? You know, uh, yeah, Light Emperor Lumiere. Okay. And 
And the other thing that I was really disappointed about with this set uh, are the very... Yeah, here it is. Uh, so, very bad Nexuses. So, like, there's a couple that are good, but they're mostly in green. Uh, and the rest of them... See, like this one. This card is so bad. And Tranquil Ice Cavern. So it gives the uh, Naman Guard City effect of giving your uh, spirits a thousand BP on your opponent's turn. And then it has this really specific effect where your spirits with a soul core on them cannot be selected by the effects of your opponent's spirits with a soul core on them. There's just cards like this that have such specific effects that it just makes them very unplayable. Uh, and there's a lot of nexuses like that. Uh, uh, green got a lot of uh, good stuff, but it's green. It's their introduction set, so of course they got uh, some of the better stuff. Uh, Lizaster Eagle is our rare for this one. And we got a Foil Arcana Joker. That's cool. I'll put that to the side. So yeah. yeah, there's a couple of things about it, uh, about this set that really bring it down for me from being uh, actually, I don't know, exciting, I guess. Uh, uh, foil Rare, Chronosporos. Uh, uh, interesting card, but uh, I don't know if it's uh, going to be good enough uh, to see play, but we'll see. And then a regular Rare was Alasmoth. Is that a foil rare? Yeah, foil rare, king vulture, meh. Uh, another rare that's kind of meh. Corpse giant gigasha is a new immortal spirit. That I think this is going to be good for purple because uh, it's a five cost. Uh, so if this dies, you can revive Beldegore. So I think that will see play. Yeah, purple got a lot of cool stuff. Uh, yeah. Especially the magic card reanimate. Uh, you know, people are really excited for that card, and so am I. The ant strike back, that's a nice rare. And a foil mushrantula. That's cool. Yeah. yeah, I don't know how I feel about the discard cards. Like, they're okay, but I don't know if uh, they're gonna be like good, good. We'll have to see. Another map butterfly. That's nice. Oh, foil and oh, <laughs> we got our SPR our reboot code. Yeah, okay, I'll take that. It's not a Gundam SPR, but that's okay. As a white main, I'll happily take this. Very cool. Yeah, like I said earlier, I think they the way they handled the Gundam... Like I said, I think the way they handled the Gundams it was really smart. Uh, you know, I like that they made it so that uh, they weren't mechanically unique cards. Uh, they're just alt arts, which I think is the way to do it. If they keep doing it to like that in the future, then I'll be I'll be fine with that. And a terrible polar ice dragon glacius for our rare. Too expensive to be good. I need to do a better job of sorting these. Okay, good enough, I guess. Uh, 
This was actually a card that uh, got some flack about for my rating in Paler Forest. Uh, I'm I'm still not convinced about this card. I mean, it has an interesting effect, but I don't think it's good enough. Rafflesia for a rare, that's nice. And to uh, Thorn Prison, uh, that's the regular version. Again, that's going to be a good card for green. Lightning Aura is a cool common, actually. Uh, give a Spirit Confront. Uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, people playing around with this card. Alrighty, we got a Void Lord, Void Ogre Emperor Avaritia for another X Rare. This will be an interesting card for purple. I don't know if uh, every purple card will want to play it, but uh, I think it's neat. It's probably the best Void Lord in the set. Oh, and another extra right after. Floating Grave White Whale. <laughs> this card got so much flack for its art, and yeah, understandably so. Yeah, the card is interesting enough. Also, Foil Rare Gigasha, that's nice. And I passed it. Oh, wait, that's not what I thought it was. I was going to say, uh, um, the Green Nexus Great Aldar Plains, that card is actually really good. Uh, yeah, I think that card is going to see a ton of play. Oh, wow. We're getting all of the x rares in a row. Air Brigade Captain Raphael. Uh, this card is uh, really cool. I actually like it a lot. Uh, I just don't know if uh, it'll make it into a tiered deck, but we'll see. Oh, and a foil insectora is whatever. Oh, Worker Ant Man is actually a decent common. Yeah, I I don't know. I think I underrated this card. Uh, I went to locals yesterday and uh, a person was playing a purple green hybrid playing this card and it actually really impressed me. So we'll see. Yeah. Oh, Inescapable Avalanche is uh, really nice to get. Uh, it's basically a side grade to Dream Bomb. Uh, it's uh, one cost cheaper, but you can only bounce opposing attacking spirits as opposed to anything. Yeah, that's going to be cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're getting all of our X rares in a row. Uh, Ten Sword Saint Starblade Dragon. It's a cool card, uh, but I don't think it's good enough to make Awaken good. Here. Really cool art, too. A lot of the set actually does have some really good art. And Man General, that's a good rare to get. Uh, this is going to be a staple in green decks. Because it's two guys in one card. So you're getting two reductions for the price of one. Got another Void Lord. With the name that I cannot say. A name that I cannot say for the life of me. Coming up at the end here. Oh, Dark Knight Lamorak is a good uncommon for purple. Arcana Joker is going to be insane, I think. And Ripper Princess Azalea for a rare.
Um, I think we should be getting one more X-Rare at the end here. So let's see if that holds true. Yep, there it is. Uh, you know, Void Lord uh, and uh, Daimyo Beast Yaiba no Kami. This is probably the weakest uh, green X rare of the set. Again, cool art though, but yeah, I don't think it's going to be any good. So that should be. That should be all of our X-Rares, I think, so we'll go through the rest of this really quick. Another Mushrantula. So yeah, overall, False Gods, uh, yeah, I don't think it's a bad set. Uh, I think there's some cool cards in here. Uh, of course, it introduces green, and uh, that's uh, going to be very hype. And it does introduce some really good cards like this one, Nexus Hazard. This is just going to go straight into Pterosaur decks. Uh, it's basically a side grade to Burning Force. Uh, that's going to be really good. And, sh oh, that's not even a rare. Okay. That's another thing about, that's another thing. They didn't, uh, they're still having packs with no rares in them. It's not that big of a deal, but it's still a... It feels bad when you don't get a pack with a rare in it. Like, with the foil slot, uh, it, it kind of makes up for it. Uh, because half the time, you're going to get a rare or an X-Rare. But still, it when you don't get a rare in a pack, it just feels bad. Especially when... You know, Especially when every other card game has uh, guaranteed rares in their packs. And our last one is uh, Meteor Emperor Zigworm. A pretty iconic card from the anime. Alrighty. Well, not bad pulls uh, for our box. So. Kind of had our Gundam there uh, out of camera for the whole video. But yeah. Really cool. I'm happy you know, with what I got. Happy to get my bird uh, from the set. So yeah, tell me what you think about False Gods in the comments. Are you excited for this set? Are you excited to play with uh, green or, or what? Let me know down below. And until next time, laters.